Welcome back to the Vault Pro Scooters YouTube channel. We're here doing a game show known as Scooter Trivia. We have Walter and Matisse. Go ahead and say hello to the fans out there, boys. Hi. What's up? Each player is going to be getting one point for a correct answer and one point taken away for an incorrect answer. We have four different categories that we're gonna reveal momentarily. Once we go through all 16 questions, <clears throat> we're also gonna have a bonus question known as the last trick rebate. And you are able to wager all of your points or as little points as you want to try to take the lead. We just wanna let you know, you're not just playing for points. You guys are playing for cash today. Ooh. Each question is worth a dollar. So keep in mind, if you get it wrong, you're losing an actual dollar today. That sound good? Sheesh. And the first category is going to be parts. Ooh. I think I went out of frame. Right. <laughs> Second category is going to be world's first. Ooh. Our third category is going to be people. Ooh. Okay. And the final category, ancient Ooh. history. Ooh, that means, like, oh, that like, means Matisse <laughs> is going to be setting us off. Matisse, where would you like your first question to come from? Parts. Parts in. And then number two. Number two. All right. The first question of the game. If I have a one inch diameter fork, but oversized steel bars, what brand complete am I riding? Walter Perez. Is it a Mad Gear? It's a Mad Gear! Yeah. Bum, we bum, gave bum, another bum. shot out here, and Walter is on the board with one point and, I'm glad and you say my one dollar. What were you thinking, Confusion? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say AL. <laughs> Let's go with Ancient History and the last one. All okay. right, we're going all the way for broke. If you had a foldable kick scooter in the year 2000, what did it say on the front? Walter Perez. JD Bug. Oh, as close, but yeah, unfortunately, that, scooter, though. that puts Walter back to zero and it is a tie game. <clears throat> Matisse, would you like to steal? I'm just not going to answer that All right, one. He's not going to lose his no on points. That one. You're on the right track with JD Bug, thinking the old brands. A company that sold tech products. You'd see him in malls. They're too young. Ancient history, hard question. <laughs> Grandpa got him. <laughs> the answer is actually sharper image. See their faces? Huh. Run, it, run it back. <laughs> There's actually a post on my Instagram showing a Razor scooter with a sharper image on the front. It's good. That was the hardest one. And uh, with that, the score is still zero to zero. So what are you going to do with your zero dollars, Matisse? Uh, buy nothing. <laughs> Get the laugh track in, right? Now, Walter, that's zero dollars. What are you going to be doing with it? Well, I came with zero dollars, so I guess I'm leaving with zero dollars. So the same thing I do every day. <laughs> Play Fortnite. <laughs> in what category you think, Matisse? All right, boys, we are going people for that easy one right there. Easy one right here, so. I backflipped El Toro. <laughs> Holy. Oh, I wasn't watching the Holy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might have been Walter. Dante Hutchinson. He got it. Walter is back on the board with yeah. another dollar. We're going to put a dollar sign here so it inspires you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Walter Perez with a phenomenal $1 lead. What would you like your next question to be? Let's go with world first. We haven't done that one yet. And we'll go with the, let's go with the second one. What company made the first scooter metal core wheel? Matisse. I'm just going to take a guess because... I was just trying to beat Walter time this one, but There's I'm going to say limit. Proto. Proto. And that is incorrect. Walter, would you like to steal? You know what? It's all or nothing. I'm going to send it anyways. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go with Eagle. And that is also incorrect. Damn it. So you would be. <laughs> yes, let's go. It says what company made the first scooter metalcore wheels. So Eagle did have metalcore wheels, but they were intended for inline racing. Was the first was scooter the was micro. I <laughs> guess that should have been in ancient history. We gotta send it back to worlds first. All right. For actually, let's go with the easy one. The easy one. The first truly one piece deck. Oh my god. Walter. TSI. And would you like what to steal? It, oh, dude, that was my guess. The first truly one piece deck. That's it. That's the time limit over, and that would be Phoenix. 
Phoenix came out with the, the deck. <laughs> I never would have guessed the standard deck. <laughs> yeah. I'm just getting right. See, Walter knows now. I know the. I just thought TSI was first. TSI made the uh, Flow Master, I believe, but that had the removable deck plate. So it's not fully one piece. Yeah. Makes sense. Let's go with people. Let's do the third one. If you were lost at sea, you could use my signature wheel to help guide you home. Clayton Lindley. Tornado? <laughs> yeah, because it has like the sky. <laughs> like I the don't... spiral. So it can guide you home because you follow the eye of the circle. I'm going to go with a no. I'm sorry. You lose, you lose your zero dollars. I, I know this answer. You know this answer? Yes. What? I knew it when I read it. You liked it? Yeah, it was a good one. The Parish Isaac's Compass. Ooh. Uh, that would have been a good answer. I would have. We might. That. I. I would That's have to. The one that makes sense. What, there's the a actual there's actual a compass one? in his graphic. I would count it. But what brand did Parish ride for? Proto. Proto. And then what? Oh, Alex Stedman. Uh, I was thinking. There we go. Uh, I was thinking wheels. Yeah, yeah, signature wheel. Oh, his wheels had that on there too. The I was constellation. Thinking he's, yeah, I'm no, I was idiot. thinking of a boat. We are kicking their butt today. All right, man. Matisse, the board is yours. It's getting a little bit bare, and I would also like to point out this bare section right here. Dude, I would, I would like to add something to it. Let's go parts with that hardest difficulty. All right, hardest parts difficulty. How many spokes are on the Aztec Ermine wheels? Are those those wheels Wait, are you that have like all the lines? Like front and back? Where'd you get these guys? <laughs> the tornado's gonna guide me home. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you can't lose anything. Yeah, we'll go th even if you had points. You wouldn't take away. Matisse! So, right. closest one gets it. I'm gonna guess 18. 18, locked in. Walter. 24. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> so, it's actually 22 spokes. Walter is now back on the bum, board. Bum, 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 bum. It's been Dude, a I was feeling roller good about coaster. That. Dude, I, that was it sucks because I laughed at his answer. <laughs> <laughs> let's go back to ancient history and let's go to the first one. The first one. <laughs> what was the most important forum in the early days of Scooter? Oh. Walter Perez. The Scooter Resource. He gets it! The Scooter Resource still exists to this day. So if yeah. you guys are bored, go check it out. How old are you? I am 19. 19. So the first question about what did a Razor Scooter say on the front, he was literally <laughs> zero. <laughs> Let's go with people for two. I had the first signature six wide deck. Walter again. Quick with it. Uh, Walter. Uh, damn, it was in the tip. Wait, Logan? I forgot no, his name. No, 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 no. I forgot his name too. It was there. I and lost it. time is up. Would you like to steal a dollar from Walter? I mean, I'm down. I think it's that guy from Phoenix, right? With the red deck. That's what I'm thinking of. I don't know his name. Actually, you know what? Never mind. That's not. Ah, I don't even know. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry. It wasn't Anton. It was. No. Anton doesn't have a signature deck. I know, that's what I was thinking, because I remember I used to always see him on the Aztec 6 wide. What the first 6 wide 6? Wait, is it. Don't tell me it's Scooter Brad. <laughs> it's Scooter Brad. Is, is it Scooter Brad? It's Scooter Brad. What? Yep. That's funny. What? Walter's Good. now sitting at $1. <laughs> Matisse. Can only buy one hot Matisse wheel. hasn't had a dollar. <laughs> At all this entire game, so it's all good. I, I don't got know it why he's consoling. Last Walter. question. That's my question. Walter, where would you like to go on a little journey? Let's go world's first. The last one. The last one. <laughs> the hardest for world's first. I goaded him into it. Who landed the first backflip? Um, Josh Toy. If you're watching, he is screaming at his television right now. I'm sorry. I, I, I thought don't you brought know. me like contestants. I thought I did too. Not oh, plebes. You're like 15 years older than us. Give or take another <laughs> 10 years. You could catch him at a library because he likes to read. That was an awful hint. I'm sorry. It was a, it was a really good hint. Looks like they're going skip. Josh Toy, go ahead and yell it one more time. That's correct. It's Jarrett Reed. <laughs> Jarrett Reed. I was thinking Josh Reed for some reason. Ooh, see, good thing you didn't risk it. Exactly. All right. I was about to say Josh Toy. No, 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 I know that. <laughs> All right, Matisse. The board is getting empty. All right, parts Walter, for number one parts right here. I already one. know. It's my only chance. What is the lightest scooter deck of the Oh, yo. Seven, six. I'm just gonna go with the hydro. Actually, no. 
No, the Hydra. Hydra? Uh, yeah. 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 Well, that was it? Yeah, that's what they claim. So, I didn't do the fact check. Oh, so. wait. I got Hydra one? deck. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone in the audience goes crazy. The Hydra deck. You guys ready? Uh. He is on the board. There we go. And the board only has five <laughs> more questions plus our last bonus question. All the easy ones are gone, but we don't have a lot of points. <laughs> Most of the hard ones are gone. So you kind of have this middle range here. Ancient history. Let's get that one right at the top out of the way. Top, Just so it's right. you know, nice and even. It's level Don't two. Get... Name three scooter resource approved ways to reinforce a stock Razor Pro model at home. And I... All right, Walter Perez. I mean, I might as well just send it. All right, so you could bolt the head tube. That's one. The bars, you uh, the top, the crossbar. You could, um, what would you do? People would tape it. Yep. And then the other one was the Number the clamp, three. adding two of them. Was it quad clamp or double clamp? The two single ones. And okay, the there we go. And make a double. <laughs> there we go. Oh. I'm happy with the two singles to make a cheap razor. That's do you cooler. want to jump in on any other ones? You can make the peg bearings. Peg bearings. That's not reinforcement. Though. But it's still sick. But going stronger. Yeah. Of oh, course. Oh, you can put the pegs or the bearings in the where the shocks were. Yes. On those old forks That's to keep really it from good one. folding. Yeah, once your shocks blow out the bearings, of course, <laughs> hot gluing your plastic core wheels. That's the always a good wheels, one. The insides. Yep. Besides taping, they would drill through the handlebar and actually put bolts in there. Yeah, and then you put a bandana over it, right? Yeah, with a bandana <laughs> over it. That's why old scooters had the bandana. That's why I was thinking of wrapping it, but I was like, I kind of think about drilling the and hole. Then the shopping cart bar. Yeah, the trolley bars, you could also do that. And uh, how do you know that? I've been here long enough. He knows trolley bars. I know. He's been here almost as long as he's been scootering. <laughs> <laughs> so that gives Walter two dollars. <laughs> I'm feeling people. People. For the hardest one, I cannot remember this. Let's see what it is. Who took third place at ISA Worlds this year? Ooh. Matisse. Is it Dylan Morrison? He got it! Matisse with the big $2 now. Yeah. It's heating up. Wanna make it interesting? Whoever we wins takes the rest of the money from their opponent. Hold on, the banker's calling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're gonna go for that. Are you sure? Is that even late? <laughs> yeah, it's four dollars i mean okay all right all right so i just spoke to the banker he had something in his throat <laughs> the winner is actually going to take the money from their opponent so in this case it would be a grand total of four dollars if they wager two they'd get six dollars you don't know you know anything That's anything lunch. can happen it's getting there that, that is, is lunch. lunch baby walter where would you like to go Three questions left, plus our bonus. Let's go world's first. For world's the first. only one, might as well. Now, will it be, what do you think? Is it gonna be a question about tricks or first this, in the scooter I, industry? I hope This trait, who knows? Who knows? Name the Grape Slushies first sponsor. Walter Perez. TSI, I'm sending it. <clears throat> Ooh. Actually, you know what, we're gonna be even anyways, so. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix. Second sponsor, third sponsor. Was it Sky High? It was Sky High. Dang. I, I, was, was I, Sky I didn't think, I mean, I guess that's a, yeah, that's a sponsor. I was I gonna, think. I was thinking actually like brand wise, like actually like a company yeah. sponsor. That's why I said TSI. So you're saying like the vault as a sponsor doesn't count as a sponsor? I mean, for you it doesn't. <laughs> Yo, Nicole, your boy doesn't think y'all count. <laughs> here, I don't want you to get confused, Walter. I know there's a little bit hanging on here, so let's just make it really clear <laughs> that that is indeed only one dollar, which is one more sponsor than you have. <laughs> All right, Matisse has the power, and <laughs> it's down to a dollar game again. We go with parts. <laughs> parts, I destroy. Y'all, what is the exact name of this grip tape? Oh no, oh, did I knock over the tree? Close your eyes real quick. I'm gonna show the camera. Don't peek. <laughs> Walter Perez, any of you pillars grip tape. Ooh. Eh. Would you like to steal? 
and the galaxy pillars. He gets it! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Look so at fun. this guy. Oh god, there's a tree. <laughs> so there's only one question left, and that means ancient history. Are you guys ready? This is third level difficulty. Not that it matters at this point. And the final question before our ultimate final question is... What company out of the Northwest is credited with bringing aftermarket handlebars to the market? Walter Perez. Rad Scooter Co. He's back on the board, folks. Look at that. Now. <laughs> Man, because I didn't say Galaxy. In my head, I was like, I should have said it. What a game. What a <laughs> game. If you guys recall at the beginning, we're going to have one more question. Wait, hold on. The banker's calling again? Oh, I got to take this. Hello? <laughs> yeah, on $3. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Jarrett Reed. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, they thought Phoenix. Oh, they didn't. It was Scooter Brat. I know. 20 minutes later. All right. I'll let him know. So the banker just got back from Cabo. They had a wonderful time. But he also wanted to say <laughs> that he is so bored. <laughs> he wanted to make it interesting. He's allowing you guys to each wager $10. Walter, what do you want to wager? I'm going all in. You know, I came in this with nothing. If I leave with nothing, it's okay. I'm still gonna be right. positive here. Walter's betting a whole $10 wager. Matisse? I'm also going all in. Oh my goodness. At the time of recording this video, how many subscribers does The Vault have on YouTube? I see numbers getting written down. The wheels are turning. We've had some specials in the past about numbers. I know Walter's been on our YouTube channel quite a bit, so he might have an opportunity here to wager $10. And that is going to do it. Put your pens down. Matisse, let's see your answer. 420,769. Not a bad guess. Not a bad guess. <laughs> Walter Perez, what's your guess? 466,000 with a heart. All right, that means Walter is our winner. Everyone give it up for Walter. <laughs> and that is correct. Walter takes it with 466. Uh, Matisse, really close with the 427.69. I could see where he was going with it. Um, the banker loved it. And uh, right before we started this video, we took a screenshot and our subscriber count was 467,889. So he's getting $11 <laughs> plus Matisse's two. Walter is taking home $13! Yes. yes! If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Anything you want to say to your fans, Matisse? I'm sorry I blew it, but next time we got him. Next time we got him. I don't know if there's going to be a next time because you, you lost. So. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. So Walter will probably fight someone else. You are $13 richer. What are we going to be doing today? We're going to go buy some Hot Wheels. We're going to go get some Hot Wheels. Make sure to check out his Hot Wheel vlog at www.walterperezhotwheelgangganggangganggang.biz.gov. All right. All right. See you guys next time.